All right, how you doing? I'm Jamie Schmotzer, an instructor with the Old World Alliance. And, uh, you know, I was just on a road trip down to Bethlehem, Kentucky to Camp Craft Outdoors with my buddy Jamie Burley. We made that road trip together. You stopped by Thursdays, you spent the night, we head out first thing Friday morning, came back on Monday, and um, something came to mind during my conversations with Jamie Burley, and that is this. So most of y'all are gonna recognize this haversack, right? This is none other than the Pathfinder, you know, a small oilskin haversack, but it's actually made by Panther Primitive. So if anybody wants one without the Pathfinder logo, order straight from Panther Primitives, okay? Um, also, Dan Wowak uses this, you know, Cole Cracker, and he's got his logo on it. If you want one without a logo, get it straight from Panther Primitives, okay? Now, here's the thing. As many of you know, it's got this top flap, and when you open it up, stuff's going to fall out, right? No. Nope. Why? Because... I put a button right there and look what I did. I got a button and I can put in here two 16 ounce food tins will fit right in there, right? Snap it on, good to go, right? Now, if I wanted to, I could put another one to snap this bottom pouch together so it's a little bit more secure, but I don't really need to do that at the moment. What I really wanted to do is get the one up here so that when I flip open the haversack, stuff doesn't fall out. So now you got a haversack where you can have two food tins up there and go out on your day hike or whatever it is that you're doing and you've got some snacks. The Tandy sells a kit, right? There we go. And this is a snap kit. It comes with silver and brass. Uh, let's see, 10 of each, I guess, something like that. Yeah, 10 of each, plus the setter and anvil that you need to use this. And you can put snaps in canvas, oil skin, even leather with this kit. I'm going to put a link below to where I got this on Amazon and you can get a kit it was not that expensive and you can just put snaps in whatever you want basically let me show you an, an example of what i just put a snap in so one pan that i'm particularly fond of is the pathfinder you, you know, skillet right it's got a nice you know you pretty thick bottom i'm I like this thing. For one person, this thing works pretty good. But you know, you're out camping, and especially if you're using your pine, for example, this thing is gonna get all sooty and everything, and I don't wanna just throw it in my backpack or haversack with all that you soot and grime on it. So I've got these pouches that I get from Small Fish. I'll put a link to these. Uh, I get them on Amazon. Really, really awesome, you know, flower sack, you know, drawstring. But what I decided to do, because I wanted to test the snap and do it once before doing it on something more valuable like a haversack, I was just going to give it a shot on here. So I'm like, well, you know what? I'm just going to put one right in the middle there. And so now it's a drawstring, but there's also a snap. And if something goes wrong and I ruin it or whatever, no big deal. But I did this because you know, gets all dirty. Just put it in here. Now, of course, I could just do the drawstring and be done, but I want to do experiment with the snap. You just snap that and I'm good to go. If you'd like to get on with your bad self and put snaps on stuff, I'll have a link below where you can get this. It's super, super easy. It comes with the setter and the anvil and uh, instructions, and I'm sure you all be able to figure this out. It was not difficult. If I could figure it out, you could figure it out, all right? So uh, if you're interested in adding snaps to haversacks or bags or whatever, uh, this is pretty awesome. I look forward to adding snaps to some more of the things that I've got laying around that, you know what, it would just be nice if it had a snap in it. So until next time, I'll see you later.